Hey friends, it's 8.59 a.m. and we are signing on to our 9 a.m. meeting. I usually go to the office around two to three times per week, but because I sprained the shit out of my ankle, we are working remotely today. I've actually been working from home for the past three weeks because of this injury, and if I'm being real guys, it's making me go kind of crazy. I roll out of bed literally a minute before I have my first meeting. I sit at my desk for eight hours with occasional food and bed routing time, but then I go and take a nap and I sit at my desk again. And the only human interaction I've had has been my brother delivering groceries for me since I live up a four flight walk up and going up and down the stairs is not it. Since I literally can't leave my apartment to eat out, I've kind of gotten a little bit better at assembling food. Not cooking, just assembling. So right now I'm assembling a yogurt bowl, some eggs and toast, which will hopefully power me through this special morning. And why is it special? I'm going to attempt to work from a coffee shop today. I can almost kind of walk normally, just going up and down the stairs is a pain in the ass and takes me three times as long to get anywhere. But I'm gonna shrivel away in my apartment if I don't go outside, so today we're gonna do our best to make it to a coffee shop. Today, for obvious reasons, we are working remotely. I recently sprained the shit out of my ankle playing grass volleyball, and even though it's been three weeks, I still can't fully walk. Like I can, I can kind of move around now, but it's still um, it just looks a little goofy. Actually, let me let me show you. So I can definitely get places, I'm just really slow and it looks a little funny because my ankle can't really like bend all the way still. And even though it's been three weeks, my doctor told me to just keep my brace on and use crutches when I go outside, which I haven't really done much of because unfortunately I live up four flights of stairs with no elevator. So pretty much in the past five weeks, I've only gone out five times and three of those times were for doctor's visits. So now that I can kind of walk, I thought I'd get some fresh air and sunlight and work from a coffee shop today because I am literally rotting away in my apartment with no human interaction and no sunlight. All right, let's go, but very slowly. All right, nice. We made it in one piece with two ankles to the coffee shop. This one's a neighborhood favorite. And to feed my matcha cravings and my curiosity, I got this blue matcha. I've never had a blue matcha before, but it tasted just like a regular green matcha, but more expensive. Right now, I'm diving into learning a data tool called Data IQ DSS, which is a data science software platform, and I'm currently completing some trainings for it and starting to build out a new feature for our platform that automates some cleanup tasks. So typical junior developer activities, since I barely have any real work experience, but I'm just happy to be here and to be writing real enterprise level code now. Triple A, credits are right. Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner lane. 24 twice, she's on the phone, but she's staying on. Well, shop full of art, old dreams dying hard. We want you to return this love. Breathing in the dark, we
Okay, I see. Got it. Something else that I need to do. Thank you. Bye bye. Last meeting done. Today wasn't too busy. I just finished my last meeting and I still have some stuff I need to wrap up. I'm gonna keep working for like another hour ish and then I'm gonna switch over to some personal projects. It's a lot of desk time today, but can't really do anything else. So yeah, all right, back to work. Okay, done with work and on to the fun coding. Just kidding, work is fun. Okay, but for real, since starting my job, I've kind of been realizing how little I actually know. Not like I didn't know that already, but now it's significantly more apparent since I actually need to apply these skills at work. But to fuel my desire to learn and also help my imposter syndrome, I've decided to work on a personal project. I had a personal portfolio website before, but I used a drag and drop website builder with no code. And as someone who now writes code for a living, I feel like I should definitely be building my own website. But embarrassingly, your girl does not know how to do that. I can slap together some HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but that's about it. I can't make those super cool animations or make it interactive. And that makes me feel kind of dumb. And I've been putting this off for way too long. And now that I literally can't do anything because I can't walk, I finally start to work on my personal website. Well, learning how to work on it. The vision I have is a little Pokemon style world where you would walk around and interact with different items that have different information about my projects and experiences. I don't think I can pull this off, but we're gonna give it an honest attempt anyway. Midnight, and I am so tired. I feel like staring at a screen for like 95% of my day is really just draining me, even though I'm pretty much just sitting all day. Ugh, I'm so sleepy. That's it for today's vlog. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.